Well, thank you, Jason, for that introduction, and thank you all for being here today. I'll try to be brief because uh, I don't want to be a politician in getting in the way of the voices of we the people. So thank you for coming up here today and letting your voices heard. There's, as you can see, there's some other voices up here as well. But thank you for uh, making your presence known. Uh, I also want to thank you for over the uh, last year and a half, I recognized so many faces in the crowd that last time around we passed the Florida Health Care Freedom Act to stand up to President Obama and him, him taking over our health care from Washington. Thank you for everything you did. And I can stand here before you today and say, we pushed the right buttons, but they were the buttons you told us to push. And thank you, and I can also say that that would have never happened, this amendment, without you. As we know, the Supreme Court uh, threw it off the ballot, but this year we brought it back as House Joint Resolution. I have filed it in the House, number one, and Senator Herodopoulos has Senate Joint Resolution number two, which is the first bill in the Senate, and I understand they're going to pass that in the Senate the next day or so too. So when Senator Herodopoulos is here, please make sure and say thank you for making this the first bill to pass in the Florida legislature this year. To tell President Obama we've had enough of him running over our sovereignty. A year and a half ago I spoke for the first time on these steps about health care freedom. But there's another lo looming issue where the Obama administration is trying to rob the sovereignty of our state. And it's got kind of a funny name, uh, but I, I compare it to the evil twin of Obamacare. In some ways it's even worse. So I'm, I'm going to talk about it uh, today and hopefully you can help get the message out. I was in D.C. with a group of business leaders last week, year, last week talking to our congressional delegation and they're all on this. So help remind them of how important. It's called, it's a funny name, Numeric Nutrient Criteria. I'll give you my name for it. This is the federal government slash EPA taking over the water in Florida. Two, two years ago, a group named Earth Justice brought a lawsuit against the Obama administration uh, to get us to comply with the Clean Water Act. Most people thought that if they fought the suit, they would have won it. They singled out our state, our beloved state of Florida. Instead of fighting, like they should have, they laid down and settled with Earth, Earth Justice. Floridians are going to pay anywhere from seventy to seven hundred dollars a household because of the Obama administration sold us out. You know, in some ways, remember under health care, all the issues about one state being treated differently than the others. This is just Florida now that's singling out. Also, make sure today that you stop by the. The, the biggest thing we're trying to do is, in addition to the lawsuit against health care, we also are suing on this. So make sure you think on this, uh, Commissioner Putnam is the plaintiff in the lawsuit, and Attorney General, uh, Attorney, Attorney General Bondi is his defender. So please make sure and thank them for standing up for our sovereignty by this lawsuit. So I wanted to make you aware of this today because you're going to hear a lot more about this. You know, the Obama administration over the last couple years, it seems like they've wor they're working overtime to rob our freedom, steal our sovereignty as a state, as our founders would see that it should be. And in, t in today's time with 12% unemployment, to kill jobs in our state. So I wanted to make you guys aware of it, and I thank you on the health care freedom, what you did, and I hope that you can get engaged and call your congressman, Call both senators and tell them how important. And thank, Rep thank Representative Rooney last week, who filed an amendment to the CR and the budget, and Senator Rubio, who are standing up and starting to move it forward, but they're going to need your help. So I'm going to ask again, please, we the people, let your voices be heard, and let's stop them from taking over something. Health care, I guess theoretically you could you know, live if you're healthy, but now they want our water, the basic, fun the basic essence of life from Washington. So again, thank you for coming out. Thank you for letting your voices heard. I cannot tell you how important it is for the members to see you through the Capitol and this crowd here today. God bless you all.